Hi everyone, this is Esquen from Online Tools Tutorials. Today's presentation is about using Google Meet for interactive uh, teaching. You know, uh, Google Meet is a convenient tool to use because it's a click away. It's right there on your Google Chrome. So, let's begin. In order to uh, to use the um, Google Meet, you need to log in, sign in first for your uh, Gmail account. So, sign in. Let me enter my uh, password. Okay, here you go. It's, uh, it's taking a little time. Okay, it's loading. All right, so I am now in, uh, in my inbox. So I want to use Google Meet. So I'll click on the Google Apps. And then look for the icon of uh, Google Meet, this one. Click it on and it will take you to the uh, cover page. So as you can see here, I have a meeting at uh, at 8 p.m. So it is already here. How did it happen? So to do this, to to, uh, to schedule or to schedule the events of your meeting with your students, you need this Google Apps. Click on this and look for calendar. So in this calendar, you can you can uh, schedule the uh, the meetings that you want to uh, to have with your students. For example, you want to meet them at uh, on uh, on uh, 17 of June or 17th of June. What time? Let's say 8:30. Okay. So see what I did. I just click on this and then add the title. So group. Oh, let's say uh, let's say meeting meeting one okay right now the the, the time so 8 to 9 a.m so if you want to change the uh, the date just click on this and you can choose down below okay add guests so techno savvy time 18 uh, okay for example that is the uh, the email address type the email address so it accepts 100 participants in one meeting so you don't need to click on this go to add description this is very important so type meeting one it's just repeating the title and then click save check the timing if it is correct and then save so when you save it will prompt you to uh, to uh, would you like to send invitation so click send and it will automatically go to your uh, the inbox of your students so after saving the calendar or after uh, after uh, putting appointment in your calendar you go back to meeting so it depends on uh, which timing or which schedule the uh, it's going to prompt you if the time is there so click meeting so you see now I have a meeting at 8 p.m. so I'll click on this okay if you want to uh, to switch off your to turn off your camera you can do so if you are not going to speak you can switch off the microphone so now click join now uh, by the way you can change the, uh, the the settings i'm gonna show you later so here you go so you can minimize the screen so that you can see those people who uh, who, who join you can have a chat click on that and send the message you want to close it close it if you want to have the uh, the full screen 
So this is how you use the uh, the Google Meet for interactive uh, teaching, whether it's uh, remote teaching or uh, or uh, blended learning or blended teaching. I mean, so now you can do things here. You can change the settings. Okay, audio or video. Then you can test it. Then you can go to uh, to a full screen, or if you want to change the layout so that you can see the uh, the pictures of all your students, you can change the layout like this. Or you change the tiled one, or sidebar, or spotlight. It depends on your choice. And then another thing that you can do for Google Meet is you can present materials to your students so you click on this present now and you can do you can present the entire screen you can present a a web page so be sure that the web page is already open so that when you click it on it's there so you just need to click it let's say british council share and then it will take you to the uh, to the side so you can guide your uh, you can guide your students to whatever things you want them to to do okay virtual online then they can click on this and some other examples are there english online course so you can uh, guide your uh, students to the web page where you want to lead them now you want to stop then go back to google and stop presenting so uh, this ends my uh, presentation today i hope that you learned uh, something from my short tutorials and uh, thanks for watching don't forget to click subscribe